The following video will demonstrate how to use your diode laser to do troughing. Now, troughing is going to vary in each case, depending on the amount of inflammation. So be a little open to using different settings or turning the laser up a little or moving a little faster, a little slower, depending on what reaction you get. If the tissue's bleeding a little more, you might have to slow down into that area to get a little more hemostasis. But just remember, it's a slow process and it works very well. So when we go to the actual clinical procedure for troughing, we're going to be at about 0.6 watts. Now remember, you might be varying your, your setting, your power, a little bit depending on the consistency of the tissue and the amount of bleeding. In this case, we're not getting a lot of bleeding. We want to place the tip, and it's an initiated tip, into the sulcus, and we're just sort of stroking along the tooth and trying to just clean that out and open that up just a little bit. As we do that, we do need to wipe the tip off because we will get a little buildup. And you'll see we're just going to go along, and that's going to open that up just enough so we can get that impression material into the sulcus and get us a great impression without having to pack cords. Now, if you have a deeper pocket or a, a deeper margin, you might still in some instances have to place a cord, but in most instances you won't, and you should get a great result.